is uh, severely malnourished and he also has um, probably a lung infection which spread through his whole body so now he's septic and uh, unfortunately this baby came in too late for us to be able to uh, to save him It's very stressful, of course, and it's extremely frustrating, especially when we don't manage to save those children. And it's, it's very sad because actually we know that most of these children uh, could be saved if only we catch them earlier or if only they had access to medical care uh, where they are from. So if they didn't have to travel so far to access a medical health care, then probably they could be saved. And this is very sad. It's just very, very frustrating as a medical professional. a call very early this morning from the doctor telling us the baby is crying which is a very good sign uh, and everyone was just very happy and very relieved the baby is still very sick he's still in a critical condition but the fact that he survived the first 12 hours is a very good sign that makes us hope for the best <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Which much bore Halak Nan Sabada Kuchinan Kerti, the Hpalzangu Kuchinan Kerti, Durag Murag Nasta Rura, the Halgu Asman with your Takri Dagam Zakamukras, the Perdogan Guzaraku, no rich Mustana de Pat. the harsest will be the first and major point and should be a priority. Um, I'm not speaking about recognizing the government or whatever, just releasing the asset that was supposed to be to be sent in Afghanistan, at least to support the economy and to avoid the full collapse of the economy with all the consequences. Mm -hmm. 